Hello there, everybody. Hopefully, everybody's having an awesome day today. You know, I keep on doing the transition, picturing my webcam there. But nope, it is dead. We'll get a new one soon. Don't worry. The new one shall be on the way shortly. Uh, but for today, you know what? A little bit more Subnautica. I, I, I am still very much feeling this game. And, you know... I have plans. I, I actually do have a concrete set of plans today. Because uh, although we're going to be doing a little bit of resource gathering, I may have indeed decided to spend some time last night kind of just gathering up some other stuff. Because I came to the conclusion that I'm spending a lot of time, uh, a whole lot of time, on... Uh, just gathering some resources when I don't really need to, you know. Uh, just kind of, really, I'm, really, all I'm doing is wasting your guys' time, to be honest. So I figured I'd go ahead and take care of some of that. So you will see that very momentarily. Uh, also, also, uh, I believe, I believe she is a moderator on Kaz's stream. But, uh, we got a nice little follow from Lyra. Boop. Lyra Quinn. So... Definitely big thank you to her uh, for coming over and giving us a follow. Now, I'm going to say this. At least I'm assuming it's a her. I don't actually remember. I believe that's what Kaz said. But I could be wrong. I don't... I'm sorry for assuming gender, but you know, still. just that, I, That's what I think I remember. So yeah, today should be fun. Today should be quite fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. So I know roughly where I want to go. It's just a matter of... Uh, how do I want to put it? It's just kind of a matter of... Because you're going to explore a little bit more, right? Like, I, don't, I think... I don't know. I want to say I've been to a lot of places. Not down below, though. So that's probably going to be the next venture. Is we're going to need to go below into the deep caves that we were in before. Except this time take my uh, Freganator with me. But there's a little bit more exploring we got to do up on the surface at least. Um, I don't know how much ground I'll cover. So far, I think I've been to most places. You know, I should actually look up a list as to what creatures I can scan. And what plants I can scan and kind of cross-reference it with what I have already. Because I don't really know. I I, th I want to say I have most of them, probably. But I have no clue, because I haven't actually looked up a... What's the word I'm looking for? I haven't looked up uh, a list, or I haven't looked up any of the creatures in Subnautica. So really, I don't actually know. I assume I'm good. I probably have, like, a few, like, whatever... like. What, the Sea Emperor? I know I don't have that, but I'm pretty sure that's in here. And I don't have, um... Well, I don't know if there's a Sea Dragon in here, but I know I don't have that. So I, I might look up a small list just to see... What other creatures... Not seeing what they are, but just kind of seeing... What I don't have, you know? Now, as you can see, uh... Like I said, we did do a little bit of resource gathering last night. Uh, so let me go ahead and show off what I did the other night. So I literally just made a whole bunch of lockers. And I, I filled them with everything I'm, I'm going to need to build a base. Mine is silver. I couldn't find silver. But basically, I took the Freganator and I kind of went to town in a bunch of mineral-like deposits. And so, yeah, I have a lot of stuff now. So we should be good. I mean, there's nothing there, but ignore that one. So, you know, we should be doing good for a while. Um, I am going to look for some silver. That is something I'm going to do before we em before we disembark. Or embark. I guess it's embark. Before we embark, I am going to look for silver. Uh, just a little bit more. Uh, mostly for advanced wiring kids. And I also want to make sure that I do indeed have enough of everything that I need. For blue, not blueprints, for uh, a base. 
Because I think I do. I think I have pretty much everything I'd need for a nice, cozy base. Well, outpost. I need to stop calling them bases. They're outposts, damn it. Uh, yeah, because we need wiring kits by the plenty. But yeah, we're, we should be good. And I should actually have enough magnetite and copper to make... Um... Uh, to make... What is it? Maybe like four scanning room upgrades? I See, I planned some of this out. I actually... I actually have a plan today. <laughs> so I want to fill up that other small locker with wiring kits if I can. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time, probably not too long, but we're gonna spend a little bit of time just kind of looking for silver and making them, turning those into wiring kits and, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, which I believe is in sandstone, which I do not appear to have by this base. So that's a bit unfortunate, but ah! We have three wiring kits. That's enough for three bases. And I think I have other wiring kits on. Yeah. Let's see. Do I have other wiring kits in here? I might. Wait. If I don't, then that's fine. I think I have a couple on the ship anyway. I have a spare piece of silver. I mean, I'll take that, I guess. Because I'm thinking I could also find silver out when I take the Cyclops out. Uh, so, we have... Oh, wait, there's another piece of silver here? Oh, hell yeah, dude bitchin'. Okay, so we should be good, I think. I'm not really too concerned. Hey, Dragon, welcome back to the stream, friendo. How you doing today? Can I get an F in the chat for my pet rock? We were such solid friends. I like that. I like that. How did you know I like a good pun? Especially a rock pun. Okay, so it's gonna be nothing but adventure today. Nothing but adventure. I even charged up some of my batteries and my Cyclops uh, when I was out messing around last night. By the way, uh, I did die last night when I was uh, doing some resource gathering, so we can, chalk, we can throw in another death. I didn't die to anything, I just ran out of water, I didn't drink, and I ended up dying in the Jelly Shroom Cave. Uh, so that was a bit of a shame, but it's like, eh, it's whatever. It, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't cause me too much strife. Oh, so is there like a weird staticky sound, or is that me? See, I don't recall a sound like that before, but I also... I don't know. That's like slightly bothering me, but, me, but not like too, too much, if that makes sense. Uh... Wait a moment, wait a moment. Actually, yes, wait one moment, if and you could, please. So that is a bit strange. I'm pretty sure I don't recall ever hearing that before. So give me just one sec while I just do a little thing. It won't take long, I promise. Do, 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 do. You don't hear anything? Maybe it's just me then. It could be. I don't know. I don't remember hearing it before. So it could very well just be me. Uh, I've had quite a rocky ride throughout the week. He was so stone cold. Oh man, way too good. Whoops. Okay, I don't know what that's all about now.
Okay, hold on. The thing I was doing, I think, is making things a little bit slow. Okay. Now, this is all on me. This is on me, because I am doing a thing. So, give me... Give me one sec. Give me just one sec. Phone's just being weird. So if you guys can't hear that, that's great. That means it'll only be bothering me slightly. But I don't remember that. I don't know. Maybe my headphones... May, you know what? It'd be very typical for even my headphones to suddenly betray me. Man. Why does everything... I, I don't know. Man, man you know, today I actually had shit planned out. And now it's like, what is even happening to me? Uh, it's not even my CPU is being all eaten up. And I don't know why. That does not make sense. Oh, I think I might know why, actually. Doth makes some sense now. Uh, okay, hold up. Okay, that's definitely better. Okay. Okay, I think I know what it was. So basically, I just had some uh, stuff uploading in the background, which I think might have been the cause of my CPU being, like, super high. Uh, so that was probably... That may have even been causing the static on my end. Not, this, not the upload stuff, but I think maybe just my CPU being super high might have been causing it on my end. I don't know. I'm not an expert. Especially when it comes to the sounds. But I just want to make sure everything is indeed calmed down. Does everything seem calmed down? Kind of. But also not really at the same time. Hmm. Mm. Okay, we're gonna do this and just see. I'm sorry about this. I promise I had a plan today. It's usually something that happens when I use my headphones. It's like a slow buzzing static in both ears. Yeah, that kind of happened, but it, it goes like like it happens and it kind of goes away. So that's strange. I don't know. I just I just don't remember that. Maybe this is just the first time I've noticed it. I don't know. But anyway, you know what? It doesn't matter. We're good. We're good to go. So let's go and get gone. Let us get gone. I'm just gonna put away my wiring kits. Okay. So. I know roughly where I want to go. I want to do something. Wait, why are you at 77%? Oh, I think I might know why, actually. I was going to say, I should have had everything completely charged, but I think maybe it was also charging my prawn suit. So, that might have been it. I don't think it would take away that much power, but you know, it's fine. I'm just thinking if that static comes back. I think it's actually gone. Yeah, maybe I did figure out what it was. Uh, what are you prepping for now? Funnily enough, not prepping. I already got the prep work taken care of last night. Uh, off stream. But we're just going to go on an uh, adventure. So I came to the conclusion that I haven't actually been um, to this side of the map yet. Now, I know there's at least a couple of Reapers that live in that area. So, I know it's going to be bad, probably, but I want to see it. I want to see it. Because if I hop off of this, I've been over there. I've been over there. 
I've been over there, over there. I've been to a lot of the surrounding area, mostly. But I've not been over yonder this way. So I think this should be good. We're not taking Cyclops, are you? I think we'll be fine. I don't I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. Not as long as we're safe and cautious. And we keep an eye on our radar. If we keep an eye on our radar, I think we'll be good. But we'll see. I could be entirely wrong. Okay, so that's also... Okay, so we know one's definitely ahead that way. Looks like I know this is Reaper territory. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Hmm. See, I'm trying to think if that's the one I've always seen. Because if that, if that is, then that's not terrible. But we'll see if we can avoid it. If it doesn't seem like I can avoid it, then I might abandon the Cyclops. But let's see if I can avoid it. Okay, now that one's attacking. Hey, Linkman! Thank you very much for the host, my friendo! Wait. Oh, wait. What if I do silent running? Oh, maybe. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I have a plan. I actually have a new plan. Because if I do silent running, then maybe. No, because it's attracted to light, right? Morning. And sound. Hmm. Possibly. I don't know. We'll see. Even if I do just need to take the prawn suit, that's also fine. I just figured if I can take the Cyclops, I'd just make things a little bit quicker. But overall, not too bad. Okay, hold on. Let's go back into the water a little bit. So, Lunkman, thank you very much for the host, my friendo. Okay, let's go ahead and repair this right quick. Ooh, I wonder. See, I'm just trying to think what... Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to think if I can even sneak by the Cyclops, not the Cyclops, the uh, Reapers at all. Because I know there's at least two. I know there's at least two. See, Linkman says, Fragan, my man, I can't believe I haven't done this earlier, but I'm going to add you to my auto host list starting today. Auto host list? Oh, well, thank you very much, dude. I appreciate that. I do believe I have you on my auto host. I'll, I'll check to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I have you on auto host. Hopefully I do. If I don't, that'd be quite a shame. But thank you very much, dude. I actually really appreciate that. By the way, Linkman is awesome, and everybody should totally follow him, because he's actually a super great guy. Well, this area didn't do it too soon. Ah, dude, no, it's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. A, sometimes people don't think about it, and B, eh, it's easy to forget, right? Hmm, okay, I want to try, I do want to try another, another tactic here. So I'm going to be stubborn if I can be, and take my Cyclops. I'm going to, if I can be stubborn, I will be. But yeah, how you doing today, my dude? Hopefully you're doing fantastic. I'm having a pretty good day today myself. Uh, before anyone asks, asks, yes, I, I did say it correctly. Uh, I did indeed have a pretty good day myself. Feeling like a little bit weird, but I don't know why. Like, I don't know what would be causing it. Like, not a bad kind of weird, just like a kind of weird. I don't know. It's hard to describe. Had a few beers, my man. Which is, ah, dude, nice. Been ages since I last did. You know what? Just kind of randomly, like legit randomly, um, a few days ago. I don't drink much, right? I'm not, I'm not much of a drinker. I like to mix drinks. But that's more because I find it fun, right? I, I, I like mixing drinks. I enjoy it. Um, but I don't often drink like any type of alcohol myself. 
But just a few nights ago, and I don't know why the urge came over me, but I was like, you know what? I just kind of want to have a beer. So I went up and I just got a beer out of the fridge, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to drink this. And that's such a rarity, and I really don't know what brought it on. But it was nice, and I'm not usually one to drink beer, so it was, it was a really interesting feeling. Hmm. You know what? I'm starting to think maybe Froggen's right. Like I said, if I can be stubborn, I will be, but I don't think I can be. Huh. Yeah, probably best I don't be, actually. Okay, fine. I won't be stubborn. I won't be stubborn with my Cyclops. It's probably more pain than it's worth, to be honest. So, we'll park my Cyclops right here. And we will go. First off, we'll keep calm, kitty. And here we go. Lord Death Decree, beer time. Yeah, I, I don't know. Let's say it's really rare for me to actually want to drink beer. Because I don't really, I, I, like, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm not the kind of guy that usually likes the taste of beer. So that's why it was, I don't know, it just really like weirded, whoa, whoa dude, okay. That's what's kind of really weirded me out when I was like, ah, I just want to have a beer. Okay, so now the only problem with this is I need to orient myself a little bit. Because where is, okay, so that's camera one. Hold on, let me think about this. Because I feel like I've lost myself. Okay, wait, hold on, actually. Yeah, I've kind of lost myself. Give me, like, one sec while I figure it, while I figure something out. And I think I've only really lost myself because it's dark. I'm pretty sure I need to go that way. Roughly that way-ish. But I want to just get a clear picture. So let's surface, just so I can see where I am. I also love drinking a lot of foreign beer, which in turn has developed a love for a lot of foreign beers. Oh, nice. Love. Sing Tao? I keep on to, like, in my head, I keep on to say Sing Sao, but no, that's not how you say, that's not how you say Sao. Chinese beer, Sing Ha, Thai beer. Australia? Spanish cerveza. I really want to try Asahi. Japanese beer. Dude, you know what? That would be pretty cool. Oh. Oh, I'm facing that. Okay, so we do want to go that way. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, I see now. And as Dragon said, you're on very sure enough engine. Good advice, actually. I would have forgotten, so I do appreciate that. Sing Tao is exactly how you pronounce that. Oh, it's Estrella. Oh, that's an L, not an I. Okay, that's my bad. I read that. I saw that as an I for some reason. Okay, let's just leave. So you can definitely tell something's changed since I'm fairly calmly going into Reaper territory in a prawn suit. Now it's not the prawn suit that I feel brave. The prawn suit isn't the reason. I just feel, I don't know. I don't know what I feel, if I'm being honest. Check more light around here. 
So I'm, ca I'm kind of wishing I did this in the daytime. Because I have like such a lack of light in the brown suit. Well, apparently there are many Estellas. I don't particularly like all of them. I do have a mission droid. Estrella Dam. Oh, okay. Did you know, I will say, uh, I know it's I know it's not like I know it's not a beer, but I've gotten like this really this, this really like I don't want to put it like I drank some sake uh, about like a month or two ago, right? And I came to the realization that I actually really like it. I don't know, it just feels really nice and smooth, and I like that. Then got attacked. Alright, well, well, we'll keep an eye on our friend there. I figured I was going to get attacked at least once. But see, if this were the me from, like, a few... Like, from a good few sessions ago, I wouldn't be wanting to do this, but... As you can see, I've... I've grown... Where the hell am I? So I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of why I want to take the Cyclops. But uh, then again, come come daytime, come daytime, we should be more than capable of seeing things. Definitely gonna have to set up an outpost here, though. Probably when we reach like solid land. Well. Well, not solid, but like flat land. Man, see, I'm, I'm having a bit of a struggle. Not so much reading like chat in general, but like, but wanting to say these words, but I know I'm going to get them wrong. Like, wait, like. Like Moro Moroka? It depends on. Or is it Majorca? It's probably not Majorca because if we're talking like foreign, probably like European beers. I assume. I assume that's not spelled like a proper or not pronounced like a proper J. What are you? You hoopfish? No, you're no. Yeah, you are a hoopfish. Mallorca. Okay, thank you very much. And L L L Bur L L Beer Estepona. I feel like I got Estepona right, but it could be Esteponia, depending, I guess. Oh, it's Estrella. Oh, interesting. See, this is why I'm bad with pronouncing certain things. Okay, so where the hell am I now? So see, we're in like... Don't even know territory now at this point. Like, I never thought I'd go down this way. Cause this way to me was always danger zone. And it's still danger zone. What are you? Is that something different? What is this? Creature egg. No idea what kind of creature egg that is. L L beer. okay. Estepona was correct. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Well, I got one for three. I'm satisfied. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should try some more foreign beer. Like, Canadian beer is, you know, pretty good. Like, Canadian beer is usually pretty solid. But I might also be slightly biased. Yeah, there's something really interesting about just hanging out here with, you know, that thing swimming about. And yeah, I assume my drill isn't my drill isn't really going to do much, but 
Makes me feel better, okay? So I have no clue what even is around this whole area, by the way. I, I just really have no clue. I don't know if it's worth it. Right now, it doesn't seem like it. But I also have legitimately no clue. It's worth checking out, though. Like, it's worth it just to see. Satisfies my curiosity, and then I can say I at least came to this part of the map. Yeah, that's right, you leave. So you guys are cool. You're gonna lay shit gas pods on me, but otherwise you guys are cool. Yeah, get some momentum going. Ah, yeah, there we go. So I might set up some kind of base up here. Oh wait, Fragon says I gotta sleep. Bye, dude. I did. You have yourself an awesome sleep. Thank you very much for coming to the stream. Sorry you couldn't stay too long, but I would rather you get sleep than ruin your sleep schedule watching me. But yeah, thank you for being awesome. And also for, uh, you know, well, well, the advice on not taking the Cyclops, because I think you're right. I don't think taking the Cyclops here would have been all that good or doable. You guys can shit gas pods on me? Well, they can shit gas pods on me. I'd rather they not. But that is something they can do. Uh, see, I'm really, I'm really debating here. You know, thinking about it, that, that is kind of the other problem with not taking the Cyclops, is I don't have the gear on me. Oh, actually, wait. Hold on. Wait. Okay, okay. Let's go back and get my gear from the Cyclops. Because I'll admit, I didn't actually anticipate uh, having to leave it. So let's go and collect my stuff. And then we'll get prepped to build and also hopefully not die to that, by the way. But then we just need to find a place to build. Let's say this place, for all I know, could be absolutely deserted. It looks like a desert. It doesn't look all that appealing. I have absolutely no clue what's over here. But I do think I need to go that way, and I need to go that way. There we go. See, I like this. Now, I really think the grappling hook was, like, the best thing I ever could have gotten for this. I mean, the drill arm's nice, too. Don't get me wrong. I really like the drill arm. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Damn it. I was hoping to hook onto that one. You know, I am wondering why there are so many gasopods in this area, though. I don't know, this doesn't strike me as a gasopod-like area. Ooh, I might need to bring down... Yeah, I might need to bring down the Cyclops a bit. I could take it up there so I could get my bearings, but yeah, I didn't think about actually like docking again. Okay, well I guess let's just be safe, like 
Yeah, just be safe, I guess. Hey, sucker. What are you doing here? Because I feel like if we just go up and straight down, then we should be fine. Because, like, if it attacks the ship, then it's like, yeah, that sucks. But, like, yeah, what can I do, right? Uh, okay, so I'm I assu I assume I'm gonna build like two bases, so I'll get enough for about roughly two bases, I guess. And I did see a lot of titanium deposits, so in theory I could get the titanium out there, and that might actually be a bit better and also more efficient. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get two of you, four of you. Two of you, two of you, I think two lithium. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'd, I'd want. Lubricant. Really, I should be taking enough for just a single base. But I'm hoping I won't. I'll probably build a base soon for to scan. Probably. What do I need lead for? I got lead for a reason. Maybe you know what? Maybe I maybe I got lead for no reason because I don't see a reason to have lead. How much lubricant do I have on me? I have one. I would like two. I thought I had more lubricant. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, I have a lot more. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get to planning. So, we'll just get all the titanium we can out there. Let's also bring this down a little bit. Engine powering up. I don't need to bring it down much, just enough to dock. Yeah, just enough to be able to dock it. Which it looks like I should be able to from here. Oh. Okay! Okay, so let's do a bit of a wander out this way. I swear, it's, uh, this is the best thing I could have possibly gotten for this. So I can even defend myself a little bit. Like, am I a god in this thing? No, but... Yeah, I can put the hurt down if I need to. Let's see if I can find any of those titanium deposits. I guess if need be, I could also use those, but... Well, no, I couldn't. Because that's not actual titanium, that's something I can turn into titanium. I know I saw titanium deposits around here, though. I'm just not too sure where. Fucking leave! Go away! I'm not intruding on your space, don't intrude in mine.
I'm wondering if maybe I went a little too far. What was that? Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I didn't say anything just in case it actually was something. Because, you know, if Lynn. I don't know if. Well, if, if Lynn is here. Uh. Then I could imagine. Damn it, I didn't get water. You know what? That's something. That's another thing I forgot. I didn't. I didn't bring water with me. Damn it. Damn it, that's actually not good. Damn it, I should have brought food and water. What am I doing? And I need to bring power too. Man, you know what? I'm dumb. Hold on. Now, see, I said I was prepared, and that's true. But I didn't say I was prepared to go without the Cyclops. There's always something that there's a bit of a wrench in the plans, isn't there? Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not a deposit. Oh, wait. Oh, oh silver ore. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind taking some of this back. You know, let's take some of this back since we're going back to Cyclops anyway. Conduct development and mic microbicide? Interesting. And yes, I do see my vehicle health, by the way. I know it's pretty shit. Actually, I should bring a couple other spare things with me just in case. Stop. God, you guys are all over the place. Just leave me be, please. What the fuck? Hmm. Okay, this is actually looking pretty bad for the frag, uh, friginator. Not gonna lie. I might have to get out and just repair it while I'm out here, because I don't want to lose this. Now you know, guys, I have plans. Everything should go smoothly. See, it's not that there's a curse. It's more just like... Things never go as planned, nor expected. Is that my ship? I'm telling you, it's so hard to tell at night. Seek fluid intake immediately. Man, this thing takes a while to repair, too. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure that's... Okay, hold up. It's so hard to tell in the dark. Like, I'm... Pretty damn sure that's the that's the Fraglantia, but it, it's actually hard hard to see proper. Okay, that's the tail of it. Okay. Oh. Okay, never mind. Well, at least oh, there we go. Okay, let us go ahead and eat some of these first. So I need to take a couple of these with me. 
Vital signs stabilizing. Actually, thinking about it, I probably shouldn't have ducked the Frick Land here because I need to get that silver out of it. <laughs> okay, take two of each. I probably should just take the titanium. Okay, well, let's, let's get the silver out of here. stream how you doing today hello hello how are you today uh, I'm doing pretty good thank you very much uh, just going on an adventure messing up slightly but you know going on an adventure having a good time how's about yourself hopefully everything is going good on your end as well it's okay it's small nipple it's fine Okay, and we'll put the rest of the silver that I acquired in here. That's good, though. That's good. So, let's see. What else did I want to take? I, I should take some titanium. I should take some, shouldn't I? Okay, wait. Okay, so I can put six in me. Titanium in there, then that's fine. So I think I need 11 in total. So 9, 10, 11. Okay. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I just need another like 4. And then I'll be good for 2 bases. But you know what? Fuck. Okay, damn it. Damn it, there is something I did forget to do. And that was make my scanner room upgrades. Because I meant to do that. That is something I did mean to do. Before I came all the way out here. Mm, man! I forgot you can't just make that on a normal fabricator. You need to make that in this. No, well, no, wait, no. You need to make that in the scanner room. So I could do it there, actually. Yeah. So you know what? Never mind. I did not make. I did not make a mistake. I thought I did, but I apparently did not. And then we'll take another. Man. Because I think it's copper plus. Magnetite to sort of allow me to make four scanner room upgrades. Yeah. Leave my suit alone, please. One, two, three, four. And then these right there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, you know what? I actually think I just have enough for everything. Okay. One, two, three, four. 
Yeah, you know what? Okay, see? It's going smoothly. It was just a bit of a rough start, but we're, we are going smoothly. Uh, one, two, three, four. Santa says, nice, I am. Well, that's good. That's good. Just starting the day, yeah, when I went to your profile, I saw you were Australian, I believe, right? Very cool place, Australia. Would love to visit it one day. came in here for two extra power solves. It's hard to remember everything in Subnautica. Dude, too true. If I have, like, one major weakness with games like this, you plan stuff out, but you forget little tiny things, and then it's like, oh, there goes my whole plan. Okay, I'll just hold on to them, I guess. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, now we can actually officially begin the adventure. If I... No! Damn it, no, I, I can't because I don't have power. Okay, see what I mean? It's the small things that you'll forget. Does, do I have space? Kind of. I will have space if I get rid of two things. And I think I know what I can get rid of. Okay, so I need to bring along two lantern fruits, but I can only carry one for the moment. So I will get rid of my light and also my thermal blade. My thermo blade. Because I don't think I will need them. I just need to remember that they're in here. And there we go. Okay, now I'm officially ready to begin my journey. Yes, from Australia, I did a lot of going back and forth and I played yesterday too, did you? Ah, uh, dude. I, yeah, I feel like that is just something that probably is the natural thing to Subnautica. Oh, look, there's titanium that I could have used a little bit earlier. Yeah, I, I do get the feeling that that's just something that happens in these kind of games, right? It's like you'll forget things, you'll second guess yourself. I know I do. I certainly do. Now I'm Now I'm not saying I'm the standard for everybody that plays games like this, but I do feel like it's something that happens to a lot of people. Cause you're trying to think of so much, right? It's like, oh, I need to think about literally everything that's going on and what I want to do and so you make these little mistakes and you're like oh damn it I forgot all about that it's like oh wait I need fuel for the bioreactor man who could have guessed Whoops. Yes, I agree. I think it does made it a bit that way too. Honestly, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This looks like a potential drop off. Which might mean I'm near the end the end of this map so we are pretty far away from our bases so maybe I can set up a base here ish we'll go a little bit farther this way too
But I think we have our first outpost that we can set up. I think right about here, because yeah, it's about a thousand meters. That's a kilometer, right? I'm bad with distance. I am bad with distance, all right? Leave me alone. I'm bad with math and I'm bad with distance. Hmm. You know what? A thought occurs. This is fine. This is fine. I'll just need to set something down. I just want to set it in a place where it's not going to roll, if possible. Okay, because I'm going to pick this up. I just need enough to... Okay, now I will be right back. So it's better not roll too far. If they roll a little bit, that's fine. But if they roll too far, then I'm upset. -y. I need I need six. I miscounted. Whoops. I miscounted. Whoop. Okay, well, my one battery is rolling very slowly, so it's not awful. To be fair, if I lose any of this, it doesn't really matter. I have a shit ton of it back on the Cyclops. So it's not the worst thing that could happen. Okay, we'll put this one right here. And then we'll make the hatch. I need another one. Oh shit. Oh, I might have miscalculated on the titanium I needed actually. So I thought I needed one and one quartz, not two and one quartz. Okay, so I think I miscalculated, but I can get titanium. Titanium shouldn't be bad. Okay, I think I picked everything back up. For sure I did. So now, oxygen production offline. Let's go ahead and make ourselves. I need three titanium for that. Whoops. Okay, well I can drop it in here at least. Or can I not? Well, seems not. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, I feel like one thing I dropped might not be there. Oh, there, because there it goes. Okay, well, okay, fine. So apparently gold rolls a lot. So let's drop that instead. Lithium will stay. Lithium will stay. It's fine. Uh, so now I need three titanium. One, two, three. It turns out I had space. If I just drop two, never mind. Alright, cool. Okay, okay. We should be good now. Now everything should be fine. Take out the wrong thing. Alright, cool, cool. get you all powered up and we'll go and make the scanner room all primary systems online. for that I need how much titanium five yes one two three four five yeah I grossly miscalculated how much titanium I needed okay well this is gonna be fine it's gonna be fine Uh, this is going to be a little outpost for the scanner room. 
in theory, I could probably move it a bit closer or a bit more farther away, but I think this is fine. So this is just going to be a little outpost. Now, this is also going to free up a good amount of space. Uh, really, nothing too interesting around, though, by the looks of it. But we'll see about that very soon. So, scanner room range upgrade. Nice, always handy. Thank you. Yeah, I like setting up little outposts. I think it's nice. And kind of, kind of reminds you of like where you've been too, which I like. Okay, now we. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so what do we have here then? See, still doesn't look like too much. It doesn't look like there's much around this area. So let's go ahead and use one of our cameras. We'll use camera fifteen. Because I prefer keeping the odd cameras out as opposed to the evens for some reason. Okay, so let's just see what's around. We'll see if there's anything useful in... Oh, I'll get that titanium there. Okay, so we have titanium for days. Okay, this is a drop off, so this has to be the end. Really? Right? This has to be the end, right? I mean, that's going, this is going pretty deep. Yeah, I'm going to say we probably found the end of the map. Um, now, you might be wondering why I'm saying that. It's because, well, A, it goes... Whoop, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me earn my camera. Because, A, it goes down super deep. Don't take my camera, please. And, B, I mean, look at it. There's, like, nothing out there. Okay, I keep I keep hitting oh, oh I believe my camera's been taken. Alright, there we go. Okay, wait. I can't even see what's up and what's down anymore. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure we found the edge of the map. So that means there's gonna be nothing further that way. So let's go this way and see what we can find. If anything. Like I I don't know if this area is useful. It might not be. But so far, I'll admit... Well, it has silver. I guess that's kind of a plus. Okay, you're looking really weird. Very spooky. Very, very spooky. Oh, what's this? Got ourselves a little crevasse. But it looks like it also tapers off into the edge of the map. Did I just find the whole edge of the map? Dude, if I fall in there with the brown suit, I don't think I'm getting back up. Okay, let's seek some fluid intake real quick. Sip. Vital signs stabilizing. Now I gotta admit, I'm not I'm not disappointed, don't worry. I'm not disappointed, but I really thought there would be more out here. 
You have to save and go see in the brown suit. Oh, God. You know what? I would be tempted. I'm not gonna lie, and you're merely tempting me more. I assume what would happen is you, you it would probably just crush the brown suit. I don't imagine... Assuming it does go, like, as deep as he can possibly go. Or it'll spawn something bad to kill me. Like, I know if you go out on the edges, because I know Lynn said you'd... Like, there'd be a ghost leviathan that would come out if you went too far over the edge. Which I am in the camera, so I guess I shouldn't really mind if I see it. I'm just kind of scared that I'll, like, lose my camera out here. I won't be able to get back. Like, look at how dark it all is. Yes, you'll certainly know when it's the edge. See, I feel like... I, I feel like that has to be the edge, right? Like, there's no way... The game would just be like, yeah, here, have a sudden steep drop off into an abyss and have it like not be the edge. That'd be weird. Well, you know, I feel like the expedition into this land might might not have been all that useful. I don't know. I'm I'm really I'm really debating now whether it was even worth coming over here. I mean, it's good to explore. It's good to explore. That's definitely not a problem. But it's like there's, there's nothing over here. Well, apart from that, that's over here. Now say what you will about the usefulness of that thing. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. It is pretty cool. Yes, the exploration makes it worth it. You know what? You're right. See, what have I become? Have I become a jaded adventurer? Have I become jaded already? No way. No way. No how. Can not be. You're right. Okay, let's go ahead and take all of these out now. Yep, there you go. I was going to say, watch that shrink. And now I guess we leave. Uh, how are we looking? We're looking good. We need more titanium. Welcome aboard, Captain. Arujro, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the host. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing good. And welcome back to the stream. Okay, where was that titanium deposit? I know I saw it and I kind of need it. Literally saw it on my camera. Yeah, where was it? Maybe it was further this way. Doing good one to RP some one piece. Fair, fair. Yeah, I will say, in terms of worlds to, like, do RP stuff in, One Piece is definitely a good one. Okay, lead. Okay, well, I don't want lead. I'm damn sure I saw titanium, like, deposit around here. I'm sure it was titanium. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll see one. If we don't, eh. 
We'll play some Mass Effect tonight. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Dude, Mass Effect is such a... Oh, here it is. Mass Effect is such a good game. Absolutely love it. I've still... Oh, wait. No, this is titanium. Still technically haven't beaten three, even though I do know how the game ends. I, I, I should stream Mass Effect at some point myself, actually. I think that'd be really fun. It'd be a long one, but it'd be a fun one. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm glad to hear that. How's the husband and the baby doing? Hopefully they're both doing great as well. Oh. You finally got it to go past the lab in the first game, so now you need to finish it? Ah, uh, dude. Yeah, I will admit, like, I don't remember a ton of, of the original Mass Effect in terms of areas. I think I know where you are. I'm pretty sure I know where you are. I don't know, Mass Effect was such a good, good game. Such a good, good game. Sith and Babs are good? Okay, that's good. Shit. Okay, I saw the shadow. I saw the shadow moving really fast and I got spooked. I'm pretty sure as long as I'm on the bottom here, we should be fine. You know, keep an eye out, but I think we should be fine. Famous last words, perhaps, but you know, they make me feel better, right? Better for a shadow. I know, right, dude? That spooked the shit out of me. I don't know if it sees me or not. I don't think it cares about me at the moment. I'm pretty sure it doesn't care about me. Left 15 is where you deal with the red. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, see, I was thinking it was that one. I was thinking it might have been that one. That's a good part, I think. Uh, but with AMD graphics, the game glitches at that point, turns everything into blocks. Oh, really? Dude, that sucks. Well, I'm glad you're able to get it to uh, either work for you or at least get it to go uh, past that point. Now, I will say, Mass Effect, for as good of a game as it is, the PC port really did have a lot of bugs. I never played the PC port, but, like, it always seemed like it had a ton of bugs. Which is really unfortunate, because it's such a, such a good game. Oh, shit. You scared the shit out of me, boomerang fish. I could have made some progress. I just want to get my save on. That's your joke says, I thought you streamed Mass Effect. I have never... I have not streamed Mass Effect. Um, I should. I played Mass Effect. Uh, I played Mass Effect. It looks like it's one of my favorite game series. Uh, but it's not one I've actually streamed. I've kind of shied away from it for a long time. Simply because it's, it's a very long experience. And I wasn't exactly too sure how long games would do on stream. But they seem like they're doing fine. I mean, hell, I played Final Fantasy VII. That went well. I'm playing through this one right now. And this one's pretty long. A bit longer than I was expecting. Uh, and this is going really well. So, you know what? Longer games? Probably more than easily doable. There we go. So yeah, I'll probably do like a thing of Mass Effect at some point. That way I can gush over it and be like, oh man, I love this game series. I 
I wonder where I am at this point. Like, how far away from the Cyclops am I? Quite a ways. How far am I from the other base? Quite a ways. I'm almost wondering if I should be more on the intersection. Because I'm kind of on the outer edge, I think. Got some LEDs on your desk uh, on your desk now, dude. That's awesome. Looks like the sand dunes, you think? Sand dunes, you say? You know, I gotta admit, I am kind of tempted to like get a map now. Like just kind of online, like an online map. Because I think I've been roughly everywhere that I can think of. So I don't think it'd be because I've been kind of avoiding looking at the game's map as well, right? Just in case there's anything on there that might tempt me to go to a certain location or um, spoil something. But I think I've been pretty much everywhere now. I think using a map to at least check out the um, surface area, I think that might be kind of fair. So I might do that. Seems like it goes up really high. Oh, it's not even getting me out of the water, actually. Seek fluid intake. Oh. It might spoil the deeper areas. From what uh, Lynn was telling me, it, it seems like, and this is kind of the only reason why I'm feeling a bit a bit more okay with that, is Lynn was telling me that uh, not many people have actually mapped out like the caves and the lower areas. They've really only mapped out the surface, which. That's kind of why I'm feeling a bit more okay with it now, because I think I've been to pretty much most areas on the surface part of the map. Just not so much along the deeper sections. But I don't know. I'm still not too sure. But just based on what I'm seeing, like, here in terms of roughly where I've been... I think I've been to about every biome. There is one area that I might not have been to enough. And that might be the place where they talk about what I assume is the sea treaders. Um, area, because I, I didn't actually see a sea treader, but I know I know, I, I'm pretty sure they're in the game. So I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of checking. I'm not, I'm not looking at the, or four of them, don't worry. I just want to see if that one biome does have anything. Okay, so uh, apparently sea treaders are in this game. I didn't see what they look like. I just wanted to see, I just wanted to confirm if they exist. Because I know I know I I know I did I I did look up um in in uh, at one point I did look up something I don't remember what, but I did see mention of a sea trader's path, and I know when I went to that one area, my robot lady was like, "Hey, there's like." looks like giant herbivores like ground dwelling herbivores like stomped around here and shit and it it got me thinking like okay it's probably here so i'll probably go back there now i don't know where that is but i well i kind of do i'm pretty sure that was over that way i think by camera eight
Oops. Okay, so I'll probably put up another outpost somewhere along here. And then we'll probably head back to Cyclops, because I then I would have ran out of base building materials. Uh, as well as... Um, as well as food and drink, so... It would probably be about time to return. And then maybe I'll just go back and see if I can find the sea shredders. I'm, I I don't know, but I need to scan them. They exist. I know roughly where they have to be. So. So I will probably go and check. I'm just trying to get about a kilometer away from that. You see, I don't know if this is the edge or not, so I'm a little, I'm a little bit scared. Okay, I'll probably set up a base along here. That way I can see if that is an edge or not. It probably isn't. But I can't see the bottom. So there's a slight bit of concern. Vital signs stabilizing. The only problem with that is I know there's a Leviathan out here somewhere, a Reaper. So that's a little bit dangerous, but I don't know. It's probably around somewhere. If it's here, we'll see it soon enough, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, Arian says, oh, "Okay, that makes sense. It, uh, it might just tell you where the entrance to Doctor Deeper is. It might, which wouldn't be terrible, I suppose. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm still, I'm still kind of debating that. I, I, it's probably okay. I'd probably be okay with doing it. So dark, dude. It's like so, so dark." Okay. Emergency power only. Oxygen production. Let's see, says, uh, oop, did you drop for a bit? It doesn't look like it. Honestly, if I, you know what, honestly, I don't think I did, but at the same time, I wouldn't be incredibly surprised. And I only say that because sometimes I feel like my, uh, now let's put it right here. I feel like my thing kind of baits me a little bit. Because it's like, oh, when uh, reconnecting. It's like, but, but I don't even know I was, I don't even know I was offline. And then I'm like, oh, did I drop it all? And then people are like, no. And it's like, oh, I got baited by my own uh, thingy. Oh, there we go. I got baited by my own, uh, Little chat box. There you go. That's that's the word I'm looking for. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah, basically, right? Internet things exactly. Okay, that is wow, dude. That is a deep. That is a pretty steep drop off. Not gonna lie, that's that's actually that might actually be the edge. I mean, we'll see soon enough.
Ah. Yes, that does appear to be the edge. is quite yeah i'm glad i i'm glad i didn't go down to the front seat i was really tempted i was like it can't be the edge like i was really debating it in my head i was like if that's the edge then i'd be surprised because it's so close to the ship but it might be it looks like it is so i don't know I've seen like a lot of crevices. Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna say. Well, as as Aaron said earlier, as Aaron pointed out, it's definitely not a waste. But uh, it is very very barren here. I mean, if this is called the dunes. The sand dunes, then I guess it would make sense that there wouldn't be that much here. Okay, I guess let's return to the Cyclops. And then I will check out the Sea Treader's path. You'll get a warning before you go too far and can turn back to find the edge in your prawn, really. But this looks like the edge, though. Like, to be fair, even if this isn't the edge, how the hell would I even get back up in the Piran? And don't worry, I... I wait, what the fuck? And don't worry, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's spoilery. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, honestly, edge or not, I don't, I don't think I'm go. I don't think I'd be good to go down there. Pro. Oh, that's the edge too. Okay. Uh, thank you very much then. Okay. All right. So I guess we'll return to the Cyclops and maybe I'll go and check out the Sea Treader's path. I don't. I, I, I think I know where it is. I, if I can get a sea trader, I would like that. I want to see what they look like. Like, that's kind of the other thing. I want to see what they look like. Because Computer Lady said they're big-ass herbivores. Well, no, they... No, wait. Wait. She didn't... Did she say herbivore? No, she didn't. Did she? Well, it's big. We'll, we'll just go ahead and along with that. That It's big. Well, now I don't know if I want... I, well, I want to see it, but I don't know if, like, I should be wanting to. Oh, there's stuff your teeth here. Alright, so, let's go ahead and grab all of our stuff, and let's go back to the Cyclops. We'll head towards Camera 8, which I believe is over there somewhere. I think it's in that... Yeah, because I see Camera 9, so it would be over there. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, let's leave. Hmm. 
do I want to pull up a map? I don't think... I don't think people would really... At this point, anyway... I don't think people would really be too opposed to it. Just because I've done a lot of this on my own. And I'm just trying to find every area that I can. I know I can go deeper into some caves. I know I can go deeper into some caves. But I think I've been roughly everywhere on the upper map at least, I think. But at the same time, I don't know, because, like, I'm pretty sure my Cyclops can go a lot deeper. Getting codes and clues will have info the next alien facility, too, perhaps. You know what? Actually, yeah, I haven't looked at that in a bit. I guess we'll go. I guess when we get back to Cyclops, I'll have a look and just kind of see. Because according to my Steam achievements, well, well, not even with the Steam achievements, I've definitely been to the research facility. I'm not too sure how many. I'm not too sure how many others there are, but I know I've been to that one. Out of here, bone shark. And as always, if I'm going quiet, I'm just really trying to listen for stuff. I'm trying to see if like, I hear it getting any closer. So I want to say I'm in the clear. Okay, do I have anything in the back of this? Nope, not that. Uh, I do. Okay, I guess I'll just take this out. You know what? I would like to take this. I'll just hang here for a moment. I think I was technically stepping on the stalker. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and put some stuff away and also get some more water. Not gonna lie, it feels good to be back in the Cyclops. Man, did I really like under us? No, no, I still have a lot of titanium. I was gonna say, I can't be almost out of titanium already. What did I need lithium for then? I could have swore lithium was for, was for something. Oh well. Seek fluid intake immediately. Yes, computer, I shall, I shall, don't worry. Vital signs stabilizing. That is kind of the main reason I came back, to be honest, because I knew I needed water, as well as food. 
Okay, let's go have a look at my codes and clues. Let's see if we have anything new. What do I do? Downloads. I didn't check out the rest of these, actually. I know I got a couple new ones. Yeah, I got a couple new ones. Okay, let's go ahead and listen to some of these. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. Hmm. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Okay, interesting. So she... Uh, I'm assuming she didn't make it. I'm assuming her and Berkeley didn't make it. Okay, to guess these survivors. Please, stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, then. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Hmm. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Dude, that would be stressful. Right? Imagine being on an alien planet and being like, Oh, well, we're infected with something. How to cure it? No idea. Also, I feel like my activity feed's busted. Hold on. Give me one sec. Let me... Whoops. Let me fix real quick. At least I think it's busted. Hmm. That's weird. Maybe it's not busted. I don't know. It didn't. It didn't seem like it was popping up with some of the other. It, it, I, I don't know. It didn't seem like it was popping up with things that it normally would have. I don't know. Tis strange. Tis weird. No, no. Okay, let's let's do another. Let's another quick double check here. Let me just make sure. Okay, maybe it's not. Okay, maybe I'm just crazy. All right. Okay. We'll go ahead and, and assume that. Okay, let's move this back over here then. Okay, let me do do the resize. Just doing this on the fly. I know I'm a professional boy. Don't worry. And we'll go ahead and do this again. All right, perfecto. Okay, so now oh, we also have this. Came out of nowhere, an alien kraken. Really? A cyclops tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I barely got my breather in time. Bigger than the I cyclops. Her, I said others would come. A rupture threw me clear of the habitat, and the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, Mater appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish. One way or another. Then I thought I saw a light deep below me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. 
I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. Okay, that's really grim because uh, a bigger than the Cyclops. That's pretty big. It has tentacles. I don't. I don't like the sound of any of that. Tagasi crew manifest. Bart Torgal. Auxiliary search and rescue mission. Bart Torgal. Position vice president of Torgal Corp. Status lost in space near planet 4546B. Age uh, time of disappearance 19. The only legitimate child of Paul Torgal. Beneficiary of enhanced learning techniques and cerebral implants. Digi trained in advanced biochemistry and stellar economics. Emissary Kassar reports Bart has accompanied his father to a newly constructed deep space station where he was to serve a five year term as chief operating officer. Okay, as this uh, teaches us a little bit more about Bart. Uh, codes and clues. Oh yeah, locations. Oh, that's right. I do have this. Well, this is the research facility I saw. With extensive fossil records. Yeah, I forgot I had this. Thank you very much, Aaron. Thermal power facility. Inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of volcanic intense volcanic activity. Well, I think I know roughly where I can get that one. I think I can get to the thermal power facility. I think that one's not too far off from the disease research facility. Possibly. And maybe I can get... Maybe I can get some... Um, the other areas. Maybe I can figure out these if I go there. Alright, well, we have a plan. And where we're going, I don't think we need bases anymore. Well, I should get... Well, I have enough... Well, no, I still have a lot for bases. So I should still be fine. I have a lot of titanium. I have a lot of everything. But I think... Oh my god, my power. But I think this is the way that I need to go... Um, if I'm going to find what I need to go. You love Keep Calm Kitty and the Cyclops. I thought... I thought it was the best place to put it, to be honest. It's like I could put it in my main base, but I'm always going to be calm there. The one place I might not be calm is in here. Yeah, I think it's pretty I think it's pretty perfect in the Cyclops to be honest. I like Keep Calm Kitty. Keep Calm Kitty is nice. It makes me feel nice and calm and safe. Okay, so where am I? Oh god, what's this? Wait. Hmm. Why am I traveling at night? Why do I choose to always travel at night? I feel like traveling at night is the worst thing I could do. Now I know we have the warper around here. It's always night when you travel in Subnautica, you know what? You're not wrong. Pretty sure it should just be around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. 
you know, I just thought of something. There looked to be something really interesting in this area that I never actually went to. And I didn't go there because there was a warper. So maybe Engine powering down. if I'm in the Cyclops, I see. Here's the thing. I don't know how warpers do with with uh, did I say Cyclops and Metron suit? Because maybe I don't know how they do with the prawn suit. Mm. I'll tell you. I don't. I don't like what's happening in there. Am I still on the bottom? I think so. Yeah, okay. Well, I know I came out here for the Sea Shredders. I, I know I came out here for that. But... I think stopping off here for a second might not be a bad idea. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hmm. I mean, this looks like a pretty extensive cave system down there. I don't know what that part is. Okay. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's the island, right? That has to be the island. Oh, that's interesting. It's cool that I can see that from here. Okay, actually, wait. Wait, let's go and get some drink. Let's go and get some drink real quick. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong about the Sea Trader area being around here, though. I kind of swore it was camera eight. I could have swore it was camera eight. Unless this is linked up with camera six. Wait. Okay, so camera eight has to, yeah, it is. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong then. I'm pretty sure because th there's like blood, blood kelp around here, right? Huh? Yeah, I think there is. I just don't know where, but I think I think there is blood kelp in here, or around here, and that's where I think the sea treader place is. I think I'm I'm pretty sure that's what my computer said. Well, computer lady, yeah. Oh look, it's daytime. I'm gonna be going into a cave. Nice. Alright, let's do this. Alright, we're gonna save as well. In case I need to save scum. So far I haven't had to, but just in case. You never know. We... Oh wait, is this the blood kelp? Oh, maybe this is it, actually. Oh, you know what? Oh wait. Yeah, 
yeah, see, there's a warper. I'm, they have to be able to suck me out of the brown suit, right? I don't know. I hope they can't. But if they can, then I guess it's kind of whatever, you know? Can't really do anything about it. Other than swim away and hope... So I wonder if this is just connected. I wonder if this is just connected to the the outer area of the blood kelp forest then. See, I'm calling it names like I know if that's like I know that's what it's called. I have no idea. It's kind of me coming up, come up with, my, with my own name on the fly. Yeah, this has to be okay. Wait a second, then. I'm trying to know if there's anything down here. If there isn't, I might have just made a big mistake. Especially since I didn't bring any water or food with me. Oh boy, spooky zone, dude, true. Okay, because I did come down here once before, but I don't remember if there's anything else here. Like, did it go any deeper? I honestly don't know. You know, I really am wondering what the hell happened to me. There were so many times in this game where it's like, uh, I was spooked. See, that would have scared me away, like, before. But now it's like, I don't want to go there. But at the same time, you gonna stop me, Warper? Probably, but... I'm just gonna ignore you. Okay, you can go much deeper here. At least it looks like you can. See, I don't like deep drop-offs anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I, see, I don't like drop-offs this big anymore. So now I'm like, oh, what if? Oh, no. Okay, there's a bottom here. Yeah, I came here to find sea treaders. I, I didn't come here to do like this kind of exploring. Hey, Warper. How am I going to get back out? Okay, that's the bottom. Okay. Well, I'll probably get back out the same way I get out of every hole I've been in. Grapple hook. take damage in this. You don't. Or if you do, it's very slow. Okay, so we do have another one of these caves. Okay, well, there has to be something in here then. Damn it, I, I should have brought I should have brought water with me. What are these? 
Is that something I can scan? Well, I'm gonna try. Brian Lily. Okay, so the only thing I'm concerned about is that I didn't bring water with me. That's the only problem. Oh, I got us those things. But currently, that's, that's the only problem I really foresee. So like I kind of want to explore, but also I also realize I do have a time limit. So I think the moment computer lady tells me I need to drink the first time will be the time I start to ascend. I just hope I can make it back in time. How deep can Cyclops go? It can go 500 meters. Can I build the first upgrade? Wait, hold on. I think I might be able to. But I might not have everything I need for it. Oh no, I literally could make that. Okay, never mind. I'm dumb. I forgot I could make that. Alright, well, we'll do that. We will do that. I might go and... I might actually go and take care of that. Because this is looking pretty deep and it looks like a place I want to explore. And I know roughly where this is. It's in... Well, yeah, I do know roughly where this is. Like, not perfectly... But I do kind of have an idea. It's down the hole and then just kind of around the blood forest area. Yes, I think it is a good idea. What do you need for the Mark II a Cyclops upgrade? I don't know. I can only see Mark One. I. I think. Okay, now question is, which, which way did I come in? Oh, no. I think I came in this way. I have no basis for that assumption. But it looks like this is the way back out. I like this though, so I stumbled across a cave that I wasn't even intending to stumble across. Now since you do mention the Cyclops, that has me wondering. Now I don't know if I can, but can I fit that in there? I might be able to fit the Cyclops in there. I just need to get the Cyclops down. Tell how deep that is. It looks like I'm still in the cave. Okay, let's Spider Man around a little bit. be a bit squishy but if you're a good pilot oh, I would not trust myself then I want to check power in Cyclops too yeah I think you're right 
So I think this will be a prep to come down here. So there's even like... Yeah, there's even stuff down here too. What was that? Wait, what is that? Have I been here before? That looks really familiar. Is this by something? It's by that. But no, that's... Huh. 